Hello everyone. So I had contemplated doing a live video last week, or gosh, any time since then. It's been a week since I've wanted to do this. And I finally realized that doing it this way might be smarter for all of the things I needed to get in place. So you're not gonna keep my face today because the whole focus is on this amazing image that I have my camera focused on and the prayer that I'm going to share that connects to it. So there's a few colleagues on here who will be getting this gift shortly because you missed the gathering. Um, but for everyone else who's not a coworker, colleague in some way from my deanery, which is the majority of you that are on this um, Ink and Vessel site, I want to explain what this is. So I am a chair for our group of colleagues and we had a few people who are leaving our group going into different jobs. So my coworker and I, both of us share this together, um, we're looking for different gifts. And we've never really done artwork, but we were thinking of scripture images after this really rough year. And just by, I'm gonna say Holy Spirit luck, somehow we landed on this picture. And it didn't even have the artist. Um, her, I think Christine Labrum might be her name if I was saying it right. I might be wrong about that, but I'm gonna post her name so she gets credit later, um, right below this video. But anyway, we found this, I searched, it was a book cover, I got in contact with her, and we were able to buy these bigger prints, and I you know, beautifully framed them for people leaving. But I decided we all needed to be connected, and everyone needed this beautiful image to pray with. So I figured it wasn't just meant for those who were in our rough year of colleagues together. I think all of us need to have this image. So that is why I'm going to share the prayer that I gifted them with and ask you to focus on what I have the camera on today. So the, art, the artist called this image held in prayer. So that is what I titled my poem, uh, my prayer poem, I should say. I was sitting with a huge image here in my prayer room and just listened to God to see what came for me. And it wasn't necessarily what I expected, but I think it matched this tough year. And I think it matches where many of us might still be quietly because the world's moving forward and all of us might not be ready to be fully moving forward. We're all at different phases of how we feel, um, what we might need. Maybe our stress levels are still there. I know mine is still there because I don't think this our year year is ever gonna end, um, just due to the work that the kids are still needing to do. So we're all in different phases in life and we all need to know how to tangibly feel God. It's something I try really hard to teach, especially the eighth graders. Um, I ask questions and some of them get it and some of them have had experiences and some of them don't. But I think every person needs to know how to feel God in their life. So when the rough times come, they know how to get through it. So here's my prayer from God and my words to you. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Just close your eyes for a moment. Open your hands if you want. As you take that deep breath in and out, keep your eyes open if you would like to focus on this image or keep them closed if you just want to hear the words. Come to me, child, in the ordinary and the extraordinary, and in the trepidations and treasures. Trust. Trust that sitting with me is valuable. Leaning into me is enough. Stillness surrounds you when you open your soul to see, to breathe. Breathe in a way to release the anguish and receive the calm. Breathe deeply to restore my spirit, fully flowing in your veins. Allow this stillness, this breath, to become light, a gift of your heart caught in my hands to create space of love, hope, surrender. This is prayer. Moments of contemplation from difficult days or wondrous encounters, both are gift to me. Offering fully your heart, authentically showing up to me, 
allows my grace to encompass you, to be comfortably wrapped around you while you sit still breathing in and out, giving permission for my spirit to touch your heart, to heal. Remember to climb into this space often. It is a time for you to be heard. It is a space to unload all your concerns and your love for others. As you sit, as your loved ones are open to receive, a spiritual northern lights exists, connecting heart lights together. Hearts seeking their home in me are wound together as one. Come to me, child, in the ordinary and the extraordinary. Invite those you love to be present in your heart. Know you are not alone, held in the palm of my hands. You are surrounded by love, that the nectar of faith infused with tremendous trust. Show up as you are. Lean into me with all your cares. Allow my sacred space of prayer to transform your spirit, to be restored. My prayer for all of us as I sit in my prayer chair and I look at this image is to remember that when we aren't certain if God has us, that in prayer when we are breathing the breath, the force of life that God gives us, that we can take this and allow the Holy Spirit to enter so that the Holy Spirit works with our breath to surround us and put us in God's hands so that we know we're protected and that even in the darkest times, God is still within us. And I know things in the world are getting better on the outside, but there are many people still struggling. There's a number of people on my heart who had a rough year and they, what's happening to them is just coming out. And these are young people and they're older too. So I have helped people in prayer the past few weeks, hoping that they know how to feel God and they can allow God's light and love to come into their hearts so that their dignity and their self-worth um, can be restored. I know what it's like to lose that. And so when I see people, especially young people in front of me, this image is all that more important because I want them to know that they are held so deeply and to give God their cares. So we as adults need to always witness that um, and teach it to whoever is around us. I hope you all have a fantastic day or week or weekend. And one day I'll share another video again. Whenever the spirit strikes, that's kind of when I'm doing stuff. God bless.